Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Gameplay Scenarios Color Code Okay, so I'm going to use uh, Tutoring AI that I just uh, found on the internet to help um, facilitate in teaching about this uh, color coding in Yu-Gi-Oh! It's called uh, Kia. So with that being said, let's uh, introduce this AI. Glad to be of assistance, Silver Bones. So, let me summarize. What is the color code in Yu-Gi-Oh! Take it away, Kia. In Yu-Gi-Oh! Different cards have different colors, as you can see in front of you. To avoid reading a lot, it's best to memorize the card types in Yu-Gi-Oh! by color. As Kia has just mentioned a few minutes ago, memorization of card types can help in making Yu-Gi-Oh! easier. Keep it short. Keep it simple. When you instantly know what a card is by just looking at its color, it can save you a lot of time and effort in reading a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Facts. I will have Kia here give an example of how this works and how it helps memorizing card types by color. Gaia the Fierce Knight. Level 7. Attribute. Earth. Attack points 2300. Defense points 2100. Type. Warrior. Or instead of remembering all this, I can just recall it's yellow means it's a normal monster. All that info can be streamlined for easier digestion. As Kia has just mentioned, look at the difference when color is just mentioned. Not only does it make it easier to understand and just remember, all of a sudden the information can be streamlined as she has said for easier digestion and this is important when starting out in Yu-Gi-Oh! All this reading isn't gonna do you any favors. A yellow card is a normal monster. This means when you see a yellow card, you know instantly you don't have to read the effects in the box that you see their saving effort. Orange card is an effect monster. As the name suggests since it has effects, the effect of the monster will be found in the box that you saw earlier, where the one for normal monsters are. Layout of Yu-Gi-Oh cards are generally the same. Green card is a spell card. Pink is a trap card. Other card type colors you see are not important at this present time. So on our first slide we have here with the extra deck. And it's, you can see here the black card is an XYZ. The white or silver card there is a synchro. The blue card there with a hexagonal pattern on it is a link. And the purple card here is a fusion. Going into our next slide, we can see green. The green card there is a spell card and the pink card there is a trap card. Going to the next slide, we can see that with Gaia the Fierce Knight, that is a normal monster. And Swift, Gaia the Fierce Knight, we can see that is an effect monster. We can go to the next slide and we can see this card here, Halo Halo, with uh, two colors on the card is a pendulum a monster. And we can see here our last and final card, uh, this blue, just plain blue card, is a ritual. A monster. So, do I expect you to remember this when you first start out playing this game? No. But just keep it short, keep it simple, and just keep, stick with the basics. I think with that, you'll be fine and uh, you'll get to understand Yu-Gi-Oh! bit. And if you're new to Yu-Gi-Oh! Hopefully these, vi these uh, gameplay scenario videos can help you. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My faith, right, is in your hands.